Hi to everyone, your Pyral here with some more Amori. Last episode, we made it here to Otherworld, which makes me think of Dragon Ball Z if I'm being completely honest. But um, we explored a little bit and I guess our next story objective, we strayed a little bit from the path and made it to like Otherworld Lake, but I guess the next objective is to go up here and talk to Space Boyfriend. I'm really excited to talk about this. Oh. This song. You might recognize this if you have been watching the series up until now, because this is the song that I use in the end slate of the series. This song, it's called Lovesick. 80,000 light years. Now, this song, when I heard it in the demo, I instantly fell in love with it. See, I mean, a space boyfriend hasn't left his bed since she stopped coming around. This... Now, I haven't heard the entirety of the soundtrack. I've only heard what was available in the demo OST. Buddy, it's actually had to come at a time like this. But, um, so far, this is my favorite song in the game. Things are a little tough now. I don't care what anyone says, pal. I believe in the captain. I don't even... I haven't even seen the captain in this game, but I already believe in it. I already believe in Space Boyfriend. What can we do for you, bro? Why don't you leave your bed? All I hear lately are the rest of the crew complaining about being bored. Am I the only one who kinds of enjoy cleaning around? I guess. Now, the, the title of this song, Lovesick, 80,000 Light Years, it is a reference to Jamie's old project before she started going under the username Clover and Sea Life. There is a song in there called Starry Sea. And one of the lyrics, I'm gonna butcher this, but um, one of the lyrics goes, We're 80,000 light years away from home, away from everyone, and we'll never know about the sights we've seen and the things we've done out here. And I can go on and on about the rest of that song, but it's one of my favorite songs on that album. It's called Bug Spray Never Give Up. And this album means a lot to me. And also, this. Oh. I can play the piano. We can't play the piano well. But, um, Space Boyfriend. A vanity. Bookcase full of knowledge from all across the universe. A bookcase full of knowledge. Okay. A telescope. A boombox. Or a jam box. Very, very old reference I'm making there. Okay, Space Boyfriend. What's up? Uh-oh. Captain Space... I mean, Space Boyfriend doesn't look so good. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey, Space Boyfriend! Wake up! Kel? What? Jeez, you're coughing. My precious sweetheart. Oh, he sounds so sad. There must be some way to help him. My sweetheart, where have you run off to now? We did hear that name Sweetheart from one of the residents here. Oh no, not again. Space Boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Here my guy, this'll cheer you right up. Huh? Why isn't anything playing? Oh no, the boombox. It's empty. He's never gonna wake up now. Okay then, I guess we have to look for it. Or even worse, he's gonna wake up angry. Oh man, oh man. Where could that special mixtape be? Um, let's see. Someone must have thrown away a special mixtape when we were cleaning. Oh, so does this mean we have to go to the junkyard? Well, you see, whenever Space Boyfriend is away from Sweetheart, he gets really sad and lies in bed all day. The only way to snap him out of it is by playing a special mixtape. 
There's only one in the universe like it. Oh, I see. Space Boyfriend isn't sick. He's lovesick. <sighs> if Space Boyfriend stays like this, the once great coalition of space pirates will be lost for eternity. Now, is that supposed to be a reference to... to Harlock? Probably, considering it is Space Boyfriend and the inspiration for Space Boyfriend's design was mainly inspired from Harlock. Wait, where are you going? We should help him out. You know that it really sucks to lose something important to you. Don't you dare bring Hector into this. I'm talking about when you stole my stuffed toy. Huh? I don't remember anything like that. Well... Even if... <laughs> sweetheart, my perfect goddess. Even if Kel doesn't want to, I'll make him. Because I want to help. Jelly-filled donut. I think he's getting worse. What should we do, Amori? Yes, help him. So, I guess now, we can go into the junkyard. The special mixtape should be- So, if we needed a key to get into the junkyard, why was someone blocking the way there for us? And also, hello. Secret entrance. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Also, I like this. The sprite work here is incredible. It's this thing again. We've really done it now, dude. I hope the captain won't be too mad when you tell him his favorite planet is missing. You know how he gets when he's angry. Oh! We helped! Right? Does it, did beating that thing before help? Because we beat it in the last episode. You know, dude, sometimes I wonder if we're even space pirates anymore. Ever since that sweetheart came along, we haven't done anything cool. We just wouldn't get real jobs. Don't talk nonsense, buddy. What is life for us if not the space pirate life? I'm sure the captain will come to his senses one day and we'll all fly again. We just have to believe in him. <sighs> Thanks, dude. You're always there when I need you. So... The planet should be here. Right, because we beat it before. Oh, we're back. Here. Um. Sure. Oh, so the wormhole just summoned an enemy called the UFO? It's gonna cut out this battle, but I guess that was something that happened. Huh, weird. But this wormhole should be done soon. Yeah, so it can open up a wormhole to summon other enemies. Neat. I will keep that in mind. But the UFO seems to be easy to take out. Wonder if it gives extra experience. Probably. Well, there we go. 18 clams. I might need to buy some more, like, healing items. So can I go down here? And just... Huh. Lovely weather, isn't it? Now, if I try to go... Yeah, you'll you'll let me through. Okay, don't know why we need, like, a special warp to here. But okay. Backpack. Ooh. Let's see. Convenient storage device. Now, who has the lowest defense? It's a shame that, like, you need to select each individual character to see, like, their stats. It'd be nice if you could just, like, just go through. Aubrey seems to have the highest defense here. Um, I guess Amori. We can increase that. And then Hero, you can take the bracelet. Wait, what? Oh. For some reason, I thought the bracelet lowered his defense. My good men, I am looking for some art. Fear not, for I will know when I have found it. Go for it. What's this thing? Okay. Guess we just continue to go up here and look through the junkyard. Nice little jingle there.
So, this song here, find a can. This song here is called, I Will Catch Up. It's another song I love a lot, and if I'm in the mood, I might switch up the end slate song with this one every now and then. But, oh, is that the mixtape? We are looking for a mixtape. It's a nice little song. Very catchy. It's another song that Jammy has worked on. Again, I will be... I will be just excited over all of that. So this is... Tofu. Mixtape. This doesn't seem to be a special mixtape, but who knows? We'll just have to wander around here until we find it. That made us lose speed. Okay. Also, since this is a cassette tape, I do have a Clover and Sea Life cassette tape, which has her album A Sentimental Cry on it. I don't have a way of playing it, but it's... I have other ways of listening to the album. And it's a good album. Airhorn? Is that a thing we can equip? We are finding a lot of, like, just neat little things to equip. Anger on all friends. Okay then. That feels like it could be useful. Let's fight this thing. Oh, hello. Cherry soda. We're just getting items, like, during each battle. Okay, a Doom box and a mixtape. I'm going to attack the mixtape first because it seems to have less HP. So let's just do that. And then just pass the hero. Because that's just going to deal damage to everything. And since the mixtape is angry, it will be taking more damage. Which is good. There we go. So now all that's left is the Doom Box. Okay, there we go. Will this thing go down soon? I hope so. Drop some sick beats. Ooh, damage to all of us. I don't like that. I really don't like that, but that did fill up our, like, gauge. Which is, I guess, a plus side to, to, like, attacks that deal damage to the entire party. We learned mock. Okay, then. I don't know what that does. Skills. So we learned another skill, but I don't know how to, like, change them. I don't know how that works. Um, no, doesn't seem to be an option here. I guess that'll be something that we do for later. Looks like there's a big block of junk in the way. I might even call it a roadblock. Get it? Not to worry, everyone. This big old block is nothing compared to my swing. Hey, more, you know how you can cut roots and traffic cones? Well, you're not the only one with a special ability around here. I, for one, can smash large blocks out of the way. Oh, so I want to show what their abilities are. Just... Make me the leader by ta uh, selecting tag in the player menu or by holding A. I'll get rid of this hunk of junk. Okay, then. Well, first... Let's just start digging around in the junk. Nothing. So, A. Ah. You tagged Aubrey. Oh, that's a cute little photo. So this is how we swap party members around, I guess. Interesting. Ooh. Nice. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just gonna switch back over to Amori. And Aubrey tagged us. Okay, so that's how that works. Oh. The game is going to encourage us to continue to have Aubrey as the leader. Not that I mind. Let's just continue to look here. Can. And then there's a computer there with... 
Oh, has a phone next to it. Ha ha. Funny. Kel's digging through the trash. Rubber band. Dial up, of course. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna need to heal. Oh, we're not dealing a ton of damage to this thing either. I mean, that's a decent amount of damage. Ooh, two criticals at once. I like that. Okay. Everyone's speed fell. I don't like that. But this thing is almost down. There we go. Oh, the, the stick figure on the screen went upside down. Okay, I'm gonna need to heal up. That's something I'm... I mean, it kind of bothers me that you don't fully heal when you... Um, when you level up. But, I mean, eh, it's not that annoying. Okay, let's just smash this, get some chocolate. Flower puzzle, ooh! We're definitely gonna need that. Ooh, there's a key there. Mr. Conveyor Bot, switch up those conveyor belts for us already. Hmm, rude person. Can't just yell orders at people, Kel. Just have some tact, will you? Yeah, now there's no need to fuss. I'll handle this one. Ah, so this is what we have to tag in Hero for. Oh, that's a cute pic- I guess there's like cute pictures for everyone. Ahem. Greetings, Sir Conveyor Bot. My companions and I require your assistance in changing the directions of your conveyors. Will you and your friends please help me? Uh, mm, nice person. Okay. Ah. Cool. We have ramen in it. Ugh. I don't like that. We have a vending machine here, which is nice. Although I'm not going to use on soda. Okay. That takes us all the way there. And then that would take us all the way back. But I want what's in that I want whatever's here. Glasses ghost looks around aimlessly as if it is lost. Okay then. Comet hammer. That sounds like a fun item here. Nope. What about you? Nope. You keep that, which unsettling, but okay. Ooh. Yes. Hammer made from meteors. That sounds like something that would be like in another RPG that with like a more medieval setting. And I can't speed this up. Oh well. I'll just have to make my way around again. Which isn't too bad. I mean, I probably should have gotten that comet hammer on the way back, but oh. Oh well. I see that key there that we're gonna need to grab. At least this uh, conveyor belt thing isn't as cumbersome as Pokemon. Because Pokemon has had those kinds of puzzles before. What's this? The Kool-Aid Man. The Life Jam guy. Sell Life Jam. Oh! A free demo. Oh, are you gonna, like, just bop us? I don't like this. Life jam guy. Um. Huh. Uh, let's do this. And I can't heal up you. Turns us- Oh my goodness! Oh, no! Use life jam. It really works. Um... Life Jam? Why? Life benefits- or the benefits of Life Jam. Oh. Giving me a heart attack here. I don't like this. 
So, enjoy your free samples. Okay then. I know you loved it. Oh, I see you're still hurt. No worries, I'll- Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Giving me a heart attack here. 250? Nah. That's okay. You'll need it later. <laughs> That's ominous. Oh, okay, at least we're fully healed, so that was... I guess worth it. Was it worth the heart attack? Debatable. Okay, there's a key here that we can grab. And I guess now we can, um... We can see... The... Where, where the other door goes. Let's just do this. And boom. Can I switch while I'm in the... No, I can't. That's fine. So many cars here, too. Okay, let's open up this door. And I guess the next thing we're going to be seeing is Kel's skill. Right. Now, also, speaking of this... No... No letters here. Okay, then. Just wanted to make sure. Oh, ominous. Big ladder here. Okay, you know what? Let's... Let's have Kel be the leader. Oh, that's cute. What's all this? A photo of someone familiar. Then here, life jam. Okay. See, I got a free one. Didn't need to bother. I mean, it's probably, like, covered in trash or whatever, but... Still, I don't need to... Just... Buy it. I mean, I'll probably buy some later. When I have enough money, but... Right now, no. And now, we got some chocolate. I do like that these battles are giving us some items. It's good. Okay, just pass the hero. And deal some extra damage. Don't hurt me. I don't appreciate that. Well, the mixtape is done. Another vending machine here. Don't need the soda. I'll just fight this. Okay, that one is done. We're getting... This definitely has to be, like, the end here. Lemonade? Ooh. I like lemonade. Nothing here. What's up here, though? Ooh! Turkey. I'll take the turkey. And you know what, I guess? Let's see. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves. Cleared out the junk here and found a perfectly good roasted chicken. See, Amori, cleaning has its benefits. Yep, I need to send an example for my sometimes messy little brother. Okay, well, I'm just gonna quickly save. And let's just continue digging through the trash. Which, I mean, finding things to recycle is always going to be good because... Now we can just... Sell them. Dead batteries. That's probably something we can recycle later as well. So just continue to attack these. And boom! Also... I wonder... One thing I'm wondering on is what Kel's skill is, because I did switch over to him as my lead. So, that might be something that we'll see in this screen? I don't know. Let's drop some sick beats. You do that. Oh, made you angry. Well, sure. Let's just do this. Pass the ball over to Hero to deal some damage to everyone. Oh, we took down the mix or the boom box. Doom box. I know what these things are. And is this thing done? No. 
We have a little bit of HP left. Well, you're going down this turn. Perfect. Perfect. Also, I love this backdrop of, like, a junkyard. It's neat. I'm just gonna quickly heal up, because... Why not? Doesn't seem like there's a limit to how many times you can heal up, and I do like how Mari will just magically show up at random points. As, like, as like a checkpoint of sorts. Let's see, in here... Computer part. And then you... Everyone grew to level 8 in that battle, and Hero learned a new skill called Charm. Okay, acts first, a foe targets Hero for one turn. Okay, that could have some benefits to it as well. Oh! Oh, hold up! Okay, so... Let's go back over to Amori. So, okay, I can replace one of these. So, Bread Slice, if this skill defeats a foe, gain bread. Okay, then. The foe's angry greatly reduces its attack. Oh! Interesting. It, it does cost a lot of juice, but I'll try it. Starfruit soda, that sounds really good. I've never had starfruit. Okay, just uh, tag over to Omori. Oh, that's a cute picture. In here. Ooh, that looks like big. Glass bottle. There's some trash over here. Bubble wrap. Okay, now what's over here? That seems so important. Gator guy. Keck, over. Heh heh, heh heh. Over. Guess we can't go over there. But we can go over- the junkyard is huge! Oh, hello. Oh, what the? What gives? Oh, well, what do you know? There's a weak point on its head. I can recognize one of those anywhere. Let's try throwing something at it. I'm sure that'll work. Ah, that platform there looks like a good place to throw from. Oh, so is- this is what- this is where Kel comes in. Cool. So, there's a point where we can throw something at an enemy. We can do that. Interesting how that works. Okay, I'll have to keep an eye out for that since it seems like that's very situational compared to... Even Heroes, which is also pretty situational. Because I don't know how many, um... How many of the conveyor belts we'll be seeing throughout the game. Jeez, this place is huge. Poetry book. What does this do? Oh, bubble wrap is an item. Sure, it increases our defense. Which means, now, I'll just do this, and increase defense for hero. Item management. Gotta love it. So how we get up here. Okay, let's fight all these enemies. Let me just grab this glass bottle. Also, I'm gonna need to... I keep on forgetting, but... Uh, do that, and do that. Sure, it's, um, 10 MP, or 10 juice, which is quite a lot at this point, but still, you never know when that can come in handy. The battles against, like, just regular mixtapes seems to be going by pretty fast, at least. Confetti? Um, is that something that we can equip? No, that seems to be probably something that elicits some kind of emotion here. Ooh. Also, yeah, we have a lot of things that we're going to need to recycle. Because it's extra money that we can use. Okay, let's just continue going through the junkyard. 
It's a natural made, or not natural, it's a man-made place. But still. Don't want to go in there just yet. Seems complicated. Oh, airplane. Okay, I think we're good. So, what's this? Shark plane. Hmm. Don't know how to feel about this. Ooh, critical hit. Damage. Let's just attack again. Because two attacks is pretty nice. And I need to remember that we can always heal. Oh, has half its HP left. Okay. Oh! Hello. I don't like this. Are you done? No? Okay, well, Kel's probably gonna take this thing out. Yeah. And now I definitely need to heal up. Luckily, we've been finding a lot of chocolate from some battles here, so I'm not gonna be, like, too worried about using some of those up. So, let's just do that. Beat up. Even though it's just baking chocolate. Ramen. Nice. See any secrets down here? Probably not. Okay, we have to go up this way. This place is huge. Can I see what's in here? Nope. Popcorn. Jeez, finding, like, food everywhere. Kind of gross. See, donut. Nice. I'm just going to explore as much as I possibly can. Where even am I? I don't know, but this looks like it's a place where we need to go. So, hmm. Can't smash this, apparently. This is just a block of cheese. Hold on a sec. This is cheese, isn't it? You're right. It is cheese. Okay, guys, hear me out. This might sound crazy, but what if we eat the cheese? If we all start now, we can probably finish this in a couple of hours or so. Just a warning, though. Cheese gets me kind of gassy. Hey, oh, Kel. Hold up, Kel. There's no need for that. I think I might have the perfect solution. Tag me, Amori. I know just how to handle this. Ooh, are you going to put your cooking skills to use? Probably. M's? The hung humble hungry hamster. Is this all for me? What a you What is this? I think this is Emily the hamster, but I just call her M's. She's a good friend of mine. You know what to do, M's. Okay then. Wow. Where do you put all of that? See me, I try not to think about it. That was incredibly satisfying. If you're ever in need of any giant cheese eating services again, you know who to call. Okay, then. Okay. That was weird. No, I agree. That was very weird. Well, let's just, um... Let's go back to the previous area. Oh, hello. Trying to hide from me. Starfruit soda. I want to see if there's anything up here that I could potentially grab. Like this watermelon- Oh, there's the letter D. I definitely want that. Because it seems like... I mean, it might be optional because we only need to collect like a few more letters left. But still... You never know. Oh, is it something that only Omori can grab? Yes. Ominous. But we found it. We don't have the letter C just yet. 
Yeah, it doesn't tell us that, like, so-and-so letters remain. Oh, I think I get it. We are playing Hangman here, so... Any incorrect keys will be discarded to the right, and if we complete Hangman... I'm gonna assume something bad happens. I'm guessing. I don't know, it's very ominous. Meteor Ball, that sounds like something for... Hell here. Yeah. Luck and attack. Okay. Again, I don't know what luck does, but it's getting increased, which is nice. Okay, let's just go down here. Hold up, hold up. Okay, just wanted to make sure there wasn't like a hidden wall there or, or anything. Okay, we can go up here. There's a hole there. Hot dog. Fine, I'll take it, I guess. Not really a hot dog person. I'll, I'll have a hot dog every now and then at, like, a cookout or something. Like that the family does, but normally, nah. So, what? Oh! Okay, then, so is this... Binoculars. Oh, so this increases our hit rate. Two binoculars. Binoculars times two. Okay, who has a bad hit rate? No one. Well, does this increase anything else? Eh, sure, why not? Let's see, sparkler. And this seems to be the end of this part here. Whoa! Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? There's great food, but no atmosphere. Heh, <laughs> nice. Only had a joke book to write them down in. If only. You want to sit here with your friends? Sure. The moon looks gigantic from here. This is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. There's so much litter around. How can you say it's beautiful? Aubrey, Aubrey, don't be such a wet blanket. Look at things on the bright side. You know what I always say. You just gotta wake up and smell the roses. You don't always say that. So, can I do anything? Oh. I mean, that, that's nice that we get, like, a nice view of the moon there. Now, whether you think that the moonlight is glaring at you or not, remains to be seen. And yes, that is another reference. Because Ill Moonlight is another good song. Anyways, let's just continue going down this way. Oh, you moved out of the way. I see... Now what's down here? Uh, how are we supposed to find anything in here? There's just way too much junk. I'm gonna find it. Oh ho ho! At long last, I finally found it! After countless hours of digging and digging, this is one of a kind old- Oh, you have it! Rosa, the number one sweetheart fan in the world! With this one of a kind addition to my collection, I'll finally surpass all those lame posers out there. Wait, Sif. Oh no! This special mixtape smells like dude. Rude. You. Yeah, we're gonna need to grab that from you probably. I can hear everything you're saying, you know. Just as I expected, owning something so valuable is already getting me into trouble. What's the matter? Are you jealous? This special mixtape is mine. I'll never give it to you. Not now. Not ever. We didn't come all the way out here for nothing. If you don't give us that special mixtape, we'll have to take it by force. Savage behavior. Hmm. How much too refined for this nonsense. Farewell, peons, and see you never. Ooh. Music. I'm gonna chase after you. Um, I'm gonna grab this first. Oh, I can't. Fine. I'll grab this then. Grab the can. 
Hey, get back here. Hold up, how did you do that? Well, first... Rain Cloud. And Ramen. Never hurts to check. Okay. Uh, where am I... I think go up there. Why is this place so confusing? Why are there things littered around for me to find? Baking pan. Snack time! Ooh. This is important. A charm... All friends for 40 hearts for 25 HP, or 40% heart. That's gonna be useful for later on when we have more juice to spare. TV remote. We're finding all sorts of knickknacks. Mari, what are you doing here? I mean, I don't mind, but... <laughs> sure. It is at a convenient spot. So why not? Let's eat some chicken. Take a nice refreshing break from chasing a sprout. And yes, this episode is going to be a bit of a long one. So let's just continue chasing after the sprout. I want I want to get the mixtape in this episode. Do not cross. 404. Rosa, we finally caught you. Now give us back that special mixtape. What's with her? Hey Rosa, can you hear us? Huh? I wonder why she isn't responding. Let's take a closer look. Oh, but it says don't cross. Sure. What's going on? Um, We're finding a download window. Okay then. This is weird. Well, at least, um, we're healed up. And we're dealing damage to it. And this thing is almost done downloading. I don't know what this is that we're fighting. But okay, it's almost done too. Ooh, this music is pretty good too. Continue to attack. It's halfway down, so in a couple of turns we'll be beating this download window. Let's see, 99% of attack that Omo completed. I don't know what that means. Is something bad gonna happen when we beat this thing? Yeah, that's bad. But. I'm gonna risk it. Have everyone attack. Because this thing is almost done. Are we there? Almost. I can feel it. Oh, we won. Cool. 404 experience. Nice. Everyone is at level 9. Run and gun. Cool. Alt F4. What just happened? Who cares? We gotta take back that special mixtape. Yeah, what just happened? No ways, it's Finders Keepers. We're putting this back in Space Boyfriend's boombox where it belongs. Space Boyfriend, you say? Oh, you ignorant child. Haven't you heard the latest news? I have a very reputable source that tells me that Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart have long since parted ways. Why do you think the special mixtape is in the junkyard in the first place? It's, be it's because Space Boyfriend threw it away himself. Space Boyfriend threw away the special mixtape himself? Uh-oh. That's not good. But if Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart aren't together anymore, how will we ever wake up Space Boyfriend now? The future of the once great coalition of space pirates is depending on us. Hmm. That sounds like your problem, not mine. Wait just a second. How do, how do we know you're not lying about all this? You can just be trying to get the special mixtape back. Well, I... Never. I may be rude and pretentious, but I'm not a liar. Like we trust you. I think we'll just keep this mixtape and see for ourselves. Now scram, you ugly plant creature. Oh, you don't need to say that. Oh my, so rude. 
You'll pay for this, stupid boy. Mark my words. Yeah, no need to call names or anything. Now, I definitely need to heal up. Because... That was a thing. And I noticed that those gators moved, so... I'll try to find them as soon as possible. But this place is so huge, so... Hmm. Oh, is this gonna take us back? Yeah. A cardboard cutout. Neat. Okay, well, we're at the entrance. So before I do anything, I'm gonna see what those gators were hiding. Okay, so the gators have moved out of the way. What's back here? Oh. Hello. Scare throw. I'm stuck in the ground. Throw things at me. And hear a strange sound. Um... Is this important? Like... Isn't that fun? Come again another day and try again? Oh, so we need to continue to just n try to knock this thing down, right? You can stop now. No. This is really starting to hurt. Well, I'm not gonna stop. Please, stop it. I'm curious. I probably should stop, because the scare throw or scare throw is asking us to stop. But I I do want to see what happens. If you don't stop now, I'm gonna have to report you to the authorities. The authorities. What authorities? Please stop. <laughs> there, there's different sound effects at least. No, seriously. Is, like, is anything else gonna happen? Hmm. Or just mean nothing to you, I see. I guess. That sounds like a Chrono Trigger sound effect. I remember when people used to listen to me. You know, back in high school, everyone used to make fun of me for having no legs. Doorbell? They'd say things like, Oh look, it's Scarther, standing in the same spot like he always does. Let's use him for target practice. So, well, you asked us to throw things at you. I mean, I know you asked us to stop, but... Yeah, kids can be mean. Kids are just brutal sometimes, actually. See, you're just throwing balls at me. What do I even have to complain about? This is nothing compared to what I used to go through. See, this is just a... Uh, I don't know. It always starts small, you know. First it was rubber bands, then rubber balls. I remember once a kid even threw a desk at me. A desk? I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, that's right. I took an entire desk head on. I used to tell myself I could survive that. I could survive anything. I mean, sure, but... How does someone throw a desk at you? Let's see if I had hands, we could play catch. That would be neat. So what's going on? Throw me the ball, I'll try to catch it. Darn. Guess it slipped right through my fingers. Don't worry, I'll get it next time. Oh, I almost had that one. I was really close, did you see? Come on, try it again. I guess Kel's not bored of this. Oh, man, good times. Okay then. Could it be that I don't have real arms either? I wonder. I wish I could move. How long does this go on for? Like, at the, I know, like, at some point I should just stop. But, like, I'm in too deep now. Like, what else could I do? Watch, this is going to be like some super difficult battle that's coming up. Oh, we're... Yeah, I don't have tear ducts, so you can't cry. Oh, we got an achievement for that. Okay, I guess that was it. All that for an achievement. Okay, back to the entrance.
Okay, back at the entrance now. So all we need to do is just give the mixtape over to Space Boyfriend. Oh, what's going on? Pluto, come out of nowhere. Come out wherever you are. Oh, was that the thing that we fought? I guess. Well, let's just go down here. I guess we need to go the long way around. Hold it right there. We finally found you, Pluto. There's no escape. Yeah, we fought Pluto before. Oh no, my gigantic well-defined arms and legs are giving out. Can't let it end like this. I need to find a hiding place. Hey, you there. Please, lend me your assistance. Huh? Oh, uh, well. Uh, hurry, I don't have much time. Need a place to hide, huh? There's a crater right there. I got it. You can rest easy now. I got this all under control. Okay, that should do it. Shoot, they're coming. Quick, everyone act natural. That's natural? Whew. Dang it, we lost them. Hey, you kids, we're looking for a high-profile and very expensive rogue planet named Pluto. He's a big, circular, grayish guy with huge, bulging muscles. Kind of hard to miss. Have you seen him? Nah. Nah. Um... No, can't say we have. Really? Well, that's life. Come on, dude, let's keep searching. We'll find him eventually. Yeah, it worked. The coast is clear. <laughs> cool. Such quick thinking, I'm impressed. You have my eternal gratitude. What are your names, if I may ask? I'm Hiro. These are my friends, Aubrey, Kel, and Amori. I see fine names for fine young people. My name is Pluto, and I'm a rogue planet. A vaga vagabond. Vagabond? I've seen the word, but I've never had it pronounced. Or heard it pronounced. I do apologize for causing everyone so much trouble, but I feel that it's not my purpose to act as a mere yard decoration. I want the freedom to roam the skies I please, like the birds and the stars. If that makes me a rogue planet, then so be it. They can call me what they please, so long as I'm free to do as I please. Okay, then. My soul yearns for freedom. You understand, don't you, children? Whoa, Kel, are you crying? <laughs> Such raw emotion. I'm touched. That was beautiful, Pluto. You said it, Kel. Wait, you too, Aubrey? Now, at long last, I am finally free to follow my lifelong dream of running my own transportation company. I'm gonna call it Pluto Space Line. Oh, is this how... So can we, like, just use the various transportation stations? I'm Pluto of Pluto Space Line now. Please pretend you've just arrived at the transportation station. Okay. Um, hello? Pluto? Greetings from Pluto Space Line! Where would you like to go today, young travelers? Oh, uh, was that too much? Hmm. I should try to tone it down. Let's try this again. No, it's okay. We'd just like to go back to the campsite, please. So you want to go to the other world campsite? My first request. How exciting. Good for you. One ride to Otherworld Campsite coming right up. I'm gonna let you down, young travelers. Leave the rest to me. Neat. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay, then. Not what I was expecting, but okay, then. It works. I'm pretty sure this is another jammy song. That's a way of traveling around. And Mari is just not phased by it. Five out of five stars. Nice. Can't even feel my arms anymore. I have to say, you did a great job holding on for dear life back there. You have the potential to be very strong. Let me teach you a skill that might be... Oh, cool. Repeat after me. When I flex, I feel my best. Sure. When I flex, I feel my... Best? Oh, that felt amazing. I'm pumped. Hmm. Could use a little work. But nevertheless, you definitely got the power within you. 
Take this lesson and use it well. Okay. Yes, we can use the fast travel system now. And we can flex, whatever that means. Let's see, attack at the cost of speed. Uh, let's see. More damage next turn increases hit rate for- Oh. Sure, why not? Why not? And, of course, a quick bit of saving. Okay, so let's just bring over that mixtape back to Space Boy, or play the mixtape for him. Even though we got some bad news that may or may not be true. Well, only one way to find out, right? I hope the captain feels better soon. Hopefully. Hopefully this works. Well, I'll be. You kids really did it. It's a little dirty, but that's our missing special mix for sure. Thanks a lot, my guy. With this, we'll finally be able to wake up Space Boyfriend. Kel reached into your pocket and took out the special mixtape. Actually, about that, we might have some bad news. We heard a rumor that Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart, well, that they broke up. What? Did they really? For real this time? Oh no. But that would mean... That there's no point in playing him the special mixtape anymore. All hope... is lost. Hey, Space Boyfriend, we got your special mixtape back. You can at least thank us. Oh, don't be so down, Space Pirate Guy. It's just a rumor. And even if it is true, it's not the end of the world. People get over breakups all the time. I'm sure Space Boyfriend will be back on his feet soon. He just needs some time to readjust. Oh, I know. I'll blast his special mixtape on his boombox. He's got to wake up to that. In that case, we probably should get rid of that special mixtape after all. Listening to the songs might be way too emotional for him. Give it here, Amori. I'll keep it safe. Hero, reach into your pocket. Huh? Where is it? Kel, what are you doing? No! Wakey wakey, space boyfriend. Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. What is that infernal racket? Darn it, Kel, look what you did! <laughs> now, before I do anything, this song, it's a reference to another song from Jamie's old project called Bug Spray. And there are lyrics to this song, which is nice. Bug Spray is a song that means a lot to me. It means a whole lot to me. Fear me, for I have awakened! Gosh, this song. Like, I know this is a very tense moment, but... This song just brings back a lot of memories. And... There's so much I can say about how much this song and that old album, just how important they are to me. But... I'll talk more about that after the battle, because I know what's coming up. Hmm. One second. <laughs> Much better. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. This song is also another, another reference. A two-for-one reference to two songs on that old album from the Bug Spray Never Give Up album. Never Give Up and Always Give Up, where the title of this song is Never Slash Always. Foolish children, I must thank you for bringing me out of that pathetic state. I grew tired of lying in bed, pretending to be sick. Like I always say, feelings are for losers. That wench, sweetheart. She's gonna pay for leaving me. I did everything for her. I gave everything to her. Everything! You hear me? That ungrateful little... Ugh. Ugh. 
just forget it. Forget everything. I'm gonna find Sweetheart, and I'm gonna make her pay. Sorry, but we can't let you do that, Space Boyfriend. Or should I say... Space Ex-Boyfriend? Interesting. You want to challenge me? Do you even know who I am? Oh, I know full well who you are. I am Captain of the Space Pirates. I control all the planets in the solar system and have the ability to fly through space at will. The power of the entire universe is at my command. Blah, blah, blah. Talk all you want. We're not scared of you. If you plan on going around and causing trouble, you're going to have to get through us first. Hmm. So that's how it's going to be. If he still insists on stopping me, I'm afraid we'll just have to settle this the hard way. I'll take all of you on! Fight me, earthly scum!